Hello everybody, what is up, and welcome back to some more Crash Bandicoot 1 on the Emka Ninja. This will probably be the final episode. Now, I completed a lot of gems off screen. I got this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. You can't get the ones for the boss holes. This one, this one, this one, this one. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. That one. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Now I'm aware that you can more than 100% complete this game, but that's not what I'm planning on doing. I'm just planning on getting like all of this stuff, mostly for my own benefit, because I've always wanted to. Now, I'm not sure if you can get the ge get a gem here. I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm going to be following a walkthrough for this level. And his YouTube name, like I've said before, is Zeppelin G1993. So. Alright. Shots of Darkness. Watching a video. Watching the video. He creates. Yeah, breaks those boxes. You fucking kidding me? Well, I was busy paying attention to the video that I died. I will take intervals to stop the video, to stop the game just to watch the video so that way I can make sure I don't miss anything. Because I don't know if I will miss anything. And I think this one has the key in it. Alright. And I have about, I think, 23 gems or something. Alright, so far he's going straight forward. I'll pause that and get back to where he is now. He sounds British. I don't know, maybe he's British. I didn't do any visual jokes in the last video because I didn't feel like it. In a level like this one, in the other one, I think it's, um, the. Temple of Ruin or whatever. Ruins? Ruin Temple. I don't know. Something like that. There's a... Um, maybe a bit of a hint. There's a... A part that's with the arrows. And you'll see Wampa Fruit. And they look like they're going off the edge. There are invisible crates there. You can go over. Go all the way over. There's a platform with a crates... With, with stairs made of crates. And you can break all those along with the crates that are along with the steel, with the steel boxes. And in the high road levels, um, the the second one, I think it's called high road, and the other one, roads of nowhere. There are invis in the in the in the last of those like bridge levels. There is a secret path in the back with invisible platforms that'll take trial and error, but they usually go by two. You walk out, there's two. You do as far jump as you can. You get on two. You do as far jump as you can. You get on two. And the same goes for the last one after you get the red gem. But there is also a red gem path that goes off to the side. But you gotta get a red gem to go over the little end portal and do the same thing. There are two. Jump as far as you can. Two. Jump as far as you can. Two. Jump as far as you can. Two. You know, until you get to the other end. And then go all the way back after you get all the crates from the other gem path too. And if the gem is hard to see. You gotta be paying attention. And when you get back there, you know, it'll just sort of a dead end for the red gem path in, this, in the first of the bridge levels. But, um, and you'll go back and then get back to the platform that the first red gem platform puts you on and go up because the gem is hard to see. You just move up and you'll get on the path and you go si and go all the way back. Let me just see where this guy is going now. All right, broke the, the, the crate. Going to the smashers. The smashers. The grind is. Not the website. Or the app. It's an app, not a website. I don't use it. I, I don't really know what it's for. I think it's a gay thing? I'm not sure. It might be. I am not sure at all. He continues his way. 
And now I will continue my way. Oh shit. Don't want to get set on fire. Fire power. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pause this video and I will continue it again when I do the other, when I do the bonus level and then when I do the final boss, which is Cortex. Actually, I'll show the alternate win, alternate win, and then I'll show the regular win. So, I'll be back. And this is the level with the other key, just so you know. In case you wonder where that is. This level, I know, when I went, when it was the other ones, it was like, wait, but the other one with the key was right next to this bonus level. Well, this one is Jaws of... Well, then, well, the last key is Jaws of Darkness. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, I will be back. I just wanted to show you this. No, fuck. Oh, Hold on. Hold on. I'll do it. It'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. It was funny. No, I swear I made it bounce up like it was on an arrow block, but whatever. It's not important. We're back again. Yeah. Hey, he's also a little tidbit for this level. Oh fuck! Nope. Not that. Hold on. I just found this out. Are you kid, motherfucker? I will do this. I swear I will. Okay, come on. Now I'm pissing myself off. Okay, come on. Do a safe state there, for fuck's sake. There we go. That. So, you know, just keep that in mind. So I'll be back. Again. For like the fourth time. Just try trying to make it easier for you guys, okay? Okay. Okay. 24 gems, baby. And the last gem... The last two gems are in the bonus level, and I think in the, the, um, I think I know what the last gem is. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. Wait. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so, we're back. I'm running away from this, because I have the basic idea on what to do for this level. Because I, need I needed a gem that I already have right now. <coughs> Basically, just gotta run the fuck away. Run, run, run! You can't catch me. I'm not gonna make that joke because someone else made it. <laughs> the walk that I'm watching literally made that joke. Uh, no, no, no! It's got as fast as he can. Can't catch me on the, on the Bandicoot Man. Although he's not really a much of a joke. Uh, that's what I can set up, what, what I can tell from him. More like just um, uh, a serious let's player, I guess, or something, or just a walkthrough. -er. Guy just walked through videos. I'm not very happy today because, like, I let the dogs out. We have dogs. Oh, fuck. I'm like a cut. Like a cut. Like a cut. But yeah, we had dogs. We have dogs. And unfortunately, one of them got out of the area, so I had to fucking go all over the neighborhood to fucking catch her. She ran into someone else's neighbor in, uh, backyard, and I had to fucking... It took me, like, maybe ten minutes to catch the goddamn dog. So, like, hit her in the head with, um, uh, paper towel roll. Five times. And the body, and the butt. For sure, we're not doing that again. Because, you know, you're not supposed to be like, oh, here's your treat. No, didn't give her a treat, didn't give her anything. You just don't, you do something that bad, you don't get a fucking treat. Probably a bad thing to do to a dog. You don't usually want to, like, hit a dog. I didn't beat her, I hit her with a paper towel roll. It's not gonna do damage, it's just gonna show, oh, don't do that. Bad. It's just like, bad. It reinforces it more than saying it. I guess. And now on dog training with the MK Ninja. Eh. She's our, she's our newest dog. The one who's not as trained as the other two. Oh, you've gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh my god, really? All the way back here. I forgot to do a save. God damn it. Oh my god. <clears throat> I'm not gonna show me beating the the bonus level. We're just gonna do this one, and then um, I'll show you the endings. 
Oh my god. No! Oh my, I'll be back. Hold on. It's a straight shot, and I'll, I'll be back once I get to this part that I'm talking about. Here's the part I was talking about. I need the purple gem for this, and I forgot what level we get it from. And it brings you this awesome looking world. <coughs> Ooh, wow, they look, they look, the plants look really cool. What? Oh my god, fucking, oh, I'll be right back. I don't even know what happened there. Did I? Oh my god, I, th I think I got up to the hitbox of the falling area of the original platforms. Oh my god, that's such bullshit. Oh, I'll be back. Okay. The lives I don't fucking need at this point. What am I gonna, am I, am I gonna die to Cortex like 99 times? Come on, just fucking break it. F fuck you, plants. Oh, the, didn't activate the, the, or whatever. It was just silent there for a moment. And there's Cortex looking at us all, looking at me all creepily like, like he's gonna rape me. And then there's Embryo over there too. And perfect. Perfecto. Perfecto. 97%? <clears throat> That's a lot of gems. 98%. And I'll be back once I get the final gem. So, it's just in the bonus area. So, I'll be back. Sorry if you heard that, I just slipped. Oh, but first, I'm gonna show you. There is bonus area back here, so be careful of that. Just a heads up. And back there, too. So, yeah. And the final gem. Look at all those gems. The purple one's shaped kind of weird. 100%! Fuck yeah. Wait, I haven't beaten Cortex yet. The last one was like 3% or 2% or however. I forgot how much percentage I had. I'll have to look. I don't care actually. I guess the bonus levels do more for you. Right, let's go to the Great Hall, and I will show you. Sorry, I will show you the bonus ending. Cause this one is either just, uh, just, 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 you know, that, or if you have all the gems, you go all the way to a secret spot. Look, Tana, I think. I think that's Tana. Looks like Tana. I like the art style, though. The art style's nice. Gotta give Cortex props for um, making nice potions in his castle. Reminds me of, like, the, the castle level from, um... Hello, sweetheart! Wait, hold on. I wanna see that again. I've actually never beaten that park before. I just, I just knew about it, that's all. Hello, baby. I'm like, fuck yeah, I got a girl. I got the girl, baby. Screw you, Cortex. <laughs> Hell yes. Hell yes. But yeah, that's the um alternate ending where you say, screw you, Cortex, and just complete it. Complete the game like that. Papa Sue sold the ruins of Cortex Castle to a resource developer. Then he then used the proceeds to open a big hall and town a big open a big and tall shop on the island. Oh, okay. After intense therapy and eight years of higher education, Dr. Rue went on to write the well received book Through the Eye of the Vortex, a study of rapid evolution and, and its consequences. Interesting. That's that explains him in Crash Bandicoot 2. Call a con moved to Hollywood and landed a motion picture motion picture deal with Universe Proportions. Currently, he's working with a speech therapist to improve his diction. That ass. <laughs> yeah, that was that was my uh, my very first visual joke, and I enjoyed it. Pinstripe moved to Chicago, where he now owns and operates a citywide sanitation company. But he is saving he is saving money for his upcoming. 
gubernatorial, gubernatorial, gu whatever campaign. After the disappearance of his mentor, Dr. Nit Nitrous Brio discovered his first love. Tending bar. Or bartending. So I became a bartender. Like he used to be, apparently. The world has heard nothing more of, Do of Cortex since Crash foiled his plans, but evil geniuses are harder to squash than cockroaches. Hint to the, to the second game. And there, he's got the big boobies on his back. I swear they're jiggling. But yeah, that's that ending. So let's continue on the way with some piece and you were done, not you got no more. Alright, come on, hurry the fuck up. I wanna get to the boss battle. I'll be back. Oh, I didn't realize I was playing. Alright, so now let's beat Dr. Neo Cortex and get the other ending. This, this, this boss battle is pretty easy. I think. Shit, hold on. Bitch! I was like wondering, like, what the fuck? Yeah, this boss battle is just, you know... Reminds me of the... Oh god. Of the, um... Fuck, what's it called? Bitch! Oh, uh, um, and trophy battle, cause you know you dodge the balls that he throws. That came out wrong. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. Fucking shit, hold on. Bitch. Hold on, we're right back. Hold on, just hold on. Sit. Keep your butts right where they are. Alright. And that goes into Crash Bandicoot 2, where he falls off the plant blimp and it explodes. And look. Look at. He's got the boobs on his. Uh, yeah. He's got the sexy girlfriend. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah, you get it on with her, Crash. You go on to um a nice vacation. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot, created and developed by Naughty Dog. But yeah, that was Crash Bandicoot One. The start in a franchise that has that is very near and dear to my heart. Especially number two. This one is good. Number two is really good. Number three is amazing. I feel like they improved on it for e each and every single one. They all have their own separate kind of style. This one's very separate from the other ones, but it's still recognizably Crash Bandicoot. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did enjoy it. And I feel like this is the same kind of ending I did in the Spiral 2, which is no longer released because of audio issues, and I had to delete them all, and I no longer had the files, so I might just redo the series over. I might. Probably not, but if I feel like it, I will. And also, when I ended Spiral 3. I'm doing a lot of PlayStation games, because PlayStation was the first system I grew up with. So I might do a few more, because it's, uh, it's fun, I enjoy it. Um... But I won't do games that I don't really uh, know and know nothing about. I'll do games that like I owned, but I don't own anymore. 
So, anyway, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Also, make sure to check out my supporters. All the great stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out, suckers.